Hey Jeremy, have you come up with any ideas for what to get your awesome parents for this Christmas? Um, well, I'm trying my best, but you know, there's still like two whole months until Christmas. But I promise I'll make the time to find the gifts that are both meaningful and fitting for both of you. No need to worry about it. Wow, you never fail to disappoint, do you? Every year, you make these empty promises and let me and your dad down. Remember that diamond necklace you gave me last year? It was so tacky and outdated. If anyone caught me wearing that fashion disaster, it'd be a lifetime of embarrassment. So I did myself a favor and sold it for some quick cash. At least I made something useful out of your terrible taste. Wait, what? You actually sold it? Oh my gosh, how much did you manage to get for it? A couple of measly hundred bucks. Can you believe it? Wow, what a generous gift. Giving your dear mother a fake diamond necklace worth just a few hundred dollars? Are you kidding me? Do you honestly think your highly self-esteemed mom would be satisfied with such cheap crap? Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Wait, wait a second. You sold my diamond necklace for just a few hundred bucks? Hold on, mom. That necklace I bought is actually worth $2,000. I even have the certificate to prove its authenticity. Oh, wow. Look who's complaining now. Frankly, I couldn't care less about your opinion. All I know is the necklace was hideous, cheap, and totally out of style. Serious talk here, you should have put more effort into finding something decent. Stop being such a disappointment and get me something that's actually valuable, okay? But mom, you have to understand that Christmas isn't just about gifts, you know? It's about family coming together and spending quality time with each other. That's what really matters and what makes the holiday special. Wow, look at you, Mr. Grinch. Do you honestly think I'm still some naive little kid who believes in the so-called magic of Christmas or that nonsense about Santa Claus? Give me a break. Nowadays, Christmas is all about money and showing off your social status. It's just an excuse for us to flaunt how much cash we've ranked in and how successful we are. That's why the poor rats out there barely get to have any Christmas at all. They're too busy slaving away for us rich folks. <laughs> Mom, I have to say, that's not a healthy way to look at things. Anyway, I actually have something important at work that requires my attention, so I'll have to end our conversation here. Catch you later, Mom. Hold on, Jeremy. How dare you just walk away from your own mother like that? You haven't even answered my question yet. What exactly are you planning to give me and your dad as gifts this Christmas? I demand an answer. I actually did answer your question, Mom. I said I'll think about it later because, honestly, I haven't come up with anything yet. I promise I'll give it some serious thought. Well, to save you the trouble of thinking, your brilliant mom has already come up with a fantastic idea. I know you'll like it once you hear it. You... you did? What is it, Mom? Can you please tell me about your idea? Oh, you won't believe the amazing idea your dad and I have come up with. We've decided that for this Christmas, you should gift us a brand new house. I know, I know. It's just brilliant, right? You can thank me later for my exceptional planning skills. Wait, what? A new house? Are you being serious right now? Oh, of course. I'm speaking nothing but the truth. Seriously, have you ever bothered to take a good look at our current house? It's cramped, uncomfortable, and utterly pathetic. It's just a plain old apartment with zero luxury amenities or decent furniture. Even if we were to splurge on top-notch furnishings, it would still be a laughable sight. Why? Because the place itself is ancient, tiny, and downright hideous. But I actually think our house looks perfectly fine. It's fully furnished and provides us with comfort and functionality. We have enough rooms for everyone, and the location is convenient for my work too. Say no more, Jeremy. Our house just doesn't cut it for me, especially when I compare it to my friend's fancy mansions. Can you even imagine the embarrassment I have to endure when they see where we live? And look at our family. We've got you, me, and your dad. But then there's your deadweight sister, who's, well, well into her 30s and still lounging around the house, contributing absolutely nothing. 
It would honestly be a blessing if she could just get married and get the hell out of here. But it looks like she's going to be a permanent fixture. Lucky us. How could you say something like that about my sister? She's honestly the sweetest person on earth, you know? Yeah, right. Except for the fact that she's just a total freeloader who spends all her time making some dumb songs that nobody even bothers listening to. Gosh, it's like a never-ending loop of pointlessness. Anyway, forget about that. Listen up. I've actually stumbled upon this amazing new house for us to move into. Picture this. A gorgeous mansion sitting on prime real estate in our city. It's actually not that pricey. For real. Believe it or not, it's only going for a cool million dollars. You've got the cash to make it happen, don't you? So let's go for it and grab this beauty. It's a no-brainer, really. Wait, hold up. Are you seriously kidding me? Let's get real. I don't have a million bucks lying around to buy some fancy mansion. What's going on in your head? Hey, come on now. Quit trying to keep your massive fortune a secret from good old mom and dad. We're not clueless, you know. We're well aware of what's been going on. Didn't you get that awesome promotion to vice director a few months back? So let's cut the bull and be real. Saying you don't have enough money to buy a house would be a total lie, wouldn't it? You're sitting pretty financially. It's time to own up to it. Listen, Mom, you better believe when I say I don't have enough money to afford a pricey property like that. I'm still in the process of saving up, but it'll take quite a while before I have enough for a million dollar house. Fine then, forget it. We don't need any gifts for Christmas anymore. Honestly, if you can't even handle the simple task of getting me a brand new mansion, then I don't want you as my child anymore. Don't even bother calling me your mother from now on, got it? What a pathetic disappointment you turned out to be. Hey, Jeremy! So, word on the street is that you had the audacity to completely reject your mom's one and only Christmas wish? You're just so darn unbelievable, you know that? Have you got any clue how much your mom's been bawling her eyes out since she walked through that door? Seriously, her peepers are all bloodshot and puffy. What's your grand plan to fix this mess, huh? Cause let me tell you, this disaster is all on you. Dad, what are you talking about? Do you even know what mom wished for Christmas? She actually wished for a ridiculously expensive $1 million mansion. Do you honestly think I'm capable of fulfilling that wish? Oh, I don't give a damn about your choices. But you better bend over backward to give your precious mommy what she wants. She's your sacred mother, the one and only who apparently risked her life to bring you into this world, the person who defied all odds to raise you to this point. And yet, you dare to deny her? How dare you, you ungrateful little brat? If you're so worked up about mom not getting her precious dream house, why don't you step up and give it to her yourself? Why is it always me that you and mom rely on to foot the bill for everything? What? Are you seriously expecting me to do that? I've raised you my entire life and now it's my turn to kick back, relax and enjoy the rewards of my hard work. I'm way past my prime working years so don't even think about trying to force an old man like me to work. It's completely illegal, you know. I didn't know that working at the age of 55 is actually illegal. Let's face it, Dad. You're not even that old. Stop trying to divert the subject. If you don't give your mom her precious dream house, I'll gladly kick your sorry excuse of a sister out of this house. I'm dead serious, Jeremy. When I say something, I damn well mean it. But Dad, she's your own daughter. How could you even contemplate doing something so despicable to your own flesh and blood? That's just pure cruelty. I couldn't care less. I only keep what benefits me. You make money and provide it to me so you can stick around. Meanwhile, your worthless sister has been nothing but an antisocial deadbeat for years now. I'm sick and tired of having to see her face around here. So if you don't buy your mom what she wants, I swear, I'll kick her out of this house for good. But Dad, you can't do that, and I won't let you. Helena is staying here with us and that's final. Who do you think you are to boss around your own father and dictate what I should do? In this house, 
I'm the oldest and that means my voice carries the most weight. If I say your sister needs to leave, she's going to leave. No ifs and or buts about it. Hey Jeremy, you won't believe the crazy drama that went down. Your sister, Helena, went completely berserk on me. She started acting like a maniac, pushing me around and then stormed out of the house, swearing she'll never come back. Honestly, my heart is still racing from that wild encounter with your sister. I've been saying it all along. Helena is a dangerous deadweight. We should have kicked her out of the house ages ago. Wait, what? Did Helena really do all that? Did she explain why she acted that way towards you? No surprises there. She cursed at me, complaining that her house is too small and cramped for her, and that she couldn't find enough space or peace and quiet to focus on her music. So, unless we buy a new, bigger house, Helena has made it clear she won't be coming back home. Huh? Did she say that directly to you? Because I've never heard her say anything like that to me before. Well, now you're finally aware of it, so get off your lazy backside and do something. Do it fast, or Helena will vanish into thin air and never return. Given her unstable mentality, I don't even want to imagine the kind of insane things she might pull off. Listen, this whole situation feels a bit off to me. So let me just talk to her, alright? Don't worry, I'll handle it and make sure everything turns out fine. Oh, what's the point of talking about it? What you should be doing right now is rushing to buy a bigger house for all of us. Remember, it's all your fault that Helena stormed out of our house on the day of Christmas Eve. So, you better pull your act together and make things right. Hey, Helena, where are you? It's Christmas Eve today and everyone is wondering why you're not here to celebrate with the rest of the family. Jeremy, why are you texting me? I'm getting a bit worried, so I wanted to check in on you. I tried calling the other number, but you didn't answer. Is everything okay? Why did you suddenly leave our house like that? I'm just trying to understand what's going on. Wait, no! What are you saying? I didn't leave our house at all. Mom and Dad tricked me into doing it. What? Mom and Dad tricked you? But that's not what Mom told me at all. She said you made the decision to leave because you felt the house was too small for you and that you didn't fit in anymore. What? No, I never said anything like that. It's mom and dad who did all of this. They told me they had a surprise Christmas gift for me and asked me to get in the car with them. But instead, they drove me to some remote and unfamiliar place, abandoned me there and said I wasn't allowed to celebrate Christmas with you and the rest of our family. They called me a freeloader and said I don't deserve to live with you guys. What? Did they really say those things to you? How could they possibly do something so cruel? This is absolutely unbelievable. No, Jeremy, it's okay. They're probably right anyway. I feel pretty useless myself. I haven't contributed any money to the family's income for almost a year now. I'm telling you, what mom and dad told you is simply not true. They were just trying to guilt trip you, manipulate you into feeling bad. And why couldn't I reach you on your other phone number? Don't tell me they messed with your phone as well. Yeah, they took my phone and smashed it. They said I'm not allowed to contact you or any of our family members because I'm not worthy of being part of this family. They also told me that all I've been doing is creating wordless songs that can't even sell. How could mom and dad stoop so low? This is completely unacceptable. Thankfully, they didn't realize that you still have the other phone with you, right? Phew. Helena, please tell me, where are you now? I need to know you're safe. But why do you care about that? I thought you were just like mom and dad, wanting a freeloader and loser like me to vanish from your life too. They told me that you hated me and wished I would disappear. What? I never said such a thing. Our parents told me that they had a family meeting with you, and you all agreed to kick me out of the house. What? No way. You know I would never agree to something like that. You're my sister, and I would never leave you behind. We're family, and we always stick together, no matter what. Really? When I heard that you supposedly agreed to kick me out of the house, I was really sad. I thought you were just pretending to be nice to me all this time, and deep down, you actually hated me. 
Jeremy, be honest with me. Do you think it's time for me to give up in my dream as a songwriter? Helena, please don't say that. You made a courageous decision to quit your job and pursue your dream. That takes a lot of bravery. Plus, you still have that part-time job, right? That shows you're still working and contributing. It's just not true when our parents call you a freeloader. But all the money I earn from that job goes into funding my song making, which essentially makes me financially worthless to our family. It's almost been a year, and I haven't received any contracts or collaboration opportunities. The songs I've uploaded online haven't garnered much attention either. I'm feeling really down and hopeless. Maybe I should just give in and quit, like mom and dad suggested, and find a regular full-time job to settle down. Look, sis. Remember when you tried to fit in with ordinary jobs? You gave so many different jobs a shot, but none of them felt right for you. Your true passion lies in songwriting, and you're genuinely talented at it. Maybe your songs haven't reached the right audience yet, or they've simply been overlooked. But don't worry, tonight at the Christmas Eve dinner, I have a big surprise for you, so please, come and join us. I don't know, Jeremy. It's evident that our parents don't want me there. And I fear they'll be furious if I show up. Don't worry, Helena. I've got this. I'll make things right for you. As your brother, I'll always be here for you, no matter what. I promise you. After today, our parents will never nag at you again. You have my word, Helena. Oh, okay then. If you say so. But Helena, where are you right now? Can I come and pick you up? Honestly, I don't even know where I am right now. Mom and Dad drove me here, and then suddenly they pushed me out of their car, closed the door, and drove away, leaving me all alone in the middle of nowhere. Helena, please listen to me. Can you share your location with me? I'll come to pick you up right away. Just hold on tight, okay? Okay, I'll try to do my best. Thank you for helping, Jeremy. You've always been the best brother I could ask for. Jeremy, seriously? What the hell happened yesterday? How on earth did your sister manage to show up at the Christmas Eve dinner at her house last night? It's just beyond belief. I mean, it's freaking impossible. What's so surprising? She's my sister and your daughter. Of course she needed to be a part of our family Christmas Eve dinner. That's what Christmas is all about, right? Spending quality time together with our loved ones and enjoying each other's company. But... Wait, how is that even possible? Remember what I told you yesterday? Helena stormed out of the house, swearing she'd never come back. So how on earth did she have such a sudden change of heart? And more importantly, how did she even manage to make it back home? Hey, is it true that Helena decided to leave the house herself? Or was it you and Dad who planned everything? What? What do you mean by that, Jeremy? I don't understand what you're trying to say. Hey, enough with the pretending, Mom. Helena spilled the beans to me. She said you and Dad pulled a sneaky move on her. You made her think you were taking her to buy a Christmas gift, but instead, you took her to some deserted spot, kicked her out of the car, and left her stranded. Am I right? But how did you find out all of that? I clearly remember that I... That you destroyed her phone, right? Are you seriously that desperate to erase her from your life? How could you even consider doing something so awful to your daughter? Did Helena feed you all that nonsense? Don't buy into it. She's just spouting a bunch of crap. Maybe all those years of lounging around the house have messed with her head and turned her into a total nutcase. You know, you can't trust someone like her, right? Nah, Mom. Helena is completely fine. The ones I can't trust are you and Dad. Why did you try to kick my sister to the curb? Just because you wanted to guilt trip me into buying that fancy mansion for you? That's straight up selfishness, I'm telling you. No, you got it all wrong, Jeremy. It's not what you're imagining at all, alright? Helena was straight up lying to you. She's a sly moocher, and you know it. I'm your mom, so you gotta trust me, not her. It's pretty hilarious how you always label Helena as a freeloader, when in reality, it's you and Dad who haven't had jobs and have been relying solely on my income for the, all these years. Anyways, Helena is about to blow up as a famous songwriter and musician. 
and she's got the potential to rake in even more cash than I do. So good luck getting stuck in the past, but the rest of us are moving forward, and you should too. Huh? What the heck are you blabbering about? How in the world could your lazy sister ever become famous? That's some make-believe stuff, not something that actually happens in real life. No way. Well, let me refresh your memory, Mom. Remember the man who joined us for Christmas dinner yesterday with the whole family? Yeah, he's one of my friends, and guess what? He's actually the director of one of the hottest music publishing companies out there right now. The guy lives solo, so he was happy that I invited him over to our house for dinner. So what? What's the connection with your freeloading sister Helena? Are you trying to change the subject or what? Here's the deal. I played a few songs that Helena made for him, and he's absolutely blown away by them. He sees incredible potential in Helena's music, which is why he made a solid promise to promote her songs. They even went ahead and signed a contract together, with plans to collaborate on creating an album out of Helena's tracks. Oh, big whoop. That doesn't mean she's gonna hit a big. You're just feeding her a load of false hope. I bet she's gonna flop spectacularly, just like she always has. <laughs> I can't wait until the day she falls flat on her face. Well, we'll see about that. Look, I couldn't care less about your petty excuses. All I want is my freaking mansion, and I want it now. And let me make this crystal clear. If you dare to stand in my way, I'll kick your precious sister out on the street without batting an eye. Don't even think about pushing me to my limits, because you won't like what happens next. Don't worry about it. Actually, Helena and I will be moving out soon anyways, so you and Dad can have this house all to yourselves. Enjoy it! What? You... you're, you're moving out? But why? I've been doing some serious thinking, and I've made up my mind about something. It's probably best for Helena and me to move out and escape from all the toxic vibes that you and dad bring into our lives. By the way, I've already gone ahead and bought a high-rise condo. It's not as extravagant as a fancy mansion, but I'm pretty confident it'll still provide me and Helena with a comfortable life. What? You have the audacity to sneakily buy a new house without even bothering to inform me, and then have the nerve to shoot down my request for that million dollar mansion? Unbelievable! Do you even recognize me as your mom anymore? And now, thanks to your selfishness, your dad and I are going to be trapped in this decrepit, stinky house while you and your sister get to bask in the glory of a brand new, luxurious, high-rise condo. How in the world do you justify that is remotely fair to yourself? You know what? I actually considered the possibility of letting you and dad move in with me and Helena in the new condo. But that was before I discovered just how deceitful and manipulative you truly are. You deliberately drove Helena to some remote location, destroyed her phone, and abandoned her there to fend for herself. And all of this just to manipulate me into buying that fancy mansion for you? That's beyond messed up, mom. Do you even grasp the consequences of your reckless actions? Helena could face serious trouble because of what you did. Oh, come on. In the end, nothing bad happened to her, right? So, what's with all the drama? It's just not fair that you make me and your dad, the ones who sacrificed so much to raise you, live in this decrepit dump? Fine. I can manage without getting to live in some fancy mansion, but at the very least, your dad and I deserve to live in that high-rise condo you just bought. It's the least you could do to repay me for all the years I spent raising you. And why should I? You never contributed anything to the family's income, and yet you always expect expensive things that you can't even afford on your own. I'm sick and tired of both you and dad making these outrageous demands. I've had enough. I'm leaving and I have no intention of ever coming back. How can you be so heartless to your own flesh and blood? Jeremy, you gotta know that your dad and I love you more than anything, right? Like, it's an undeniable fact. Oh, it's love, is it? Or is it just my money you are after? Well, newsflash, Mom. I won't be sending you any more monthly allowances. So now, it's your turn to figure out how to become financially independent. Because I won't be around to bail you out anymore. 
Time to step up your game. Wait, what? Are you serious? Now you're going to cut me off financially as well? How dare you? That's right, Mom. So go ahead and enjoy your new life without me or my sister around to bother you. By the way, I've got some important stuff to take care of in my new house, so I gotta run. The moving company will swing by your house later to help pack up mine and Helena's things, so no need for you to stress about that. Catch you later. No, you can't do this to me. I'm your mother, for crying out loud. Show a little respect to your dear old mom and come back right now. I demand that you come back, Jeremy. Your mama is seriously upset right now. Jeremy, can you hear me? How dare you ignore your mama like this? When the moving company arrived at our old house to help me pack my things, my parents went ballistic and physically attacked them, preventing them from doing their job. It was a serious situation, and the company immediately contacted the police to report the assault. As a result, my parents had to pay compensation to the employees out of their own savings. With no jobs or pension to rely on, my parents turned to my sister for assistance. However, she completely ignored their pleas and eventually blocked their number to avoid any further disturbance. My dad seemed to come to terms with his situation and managed to find a job although his salary only covers their day-to-day -day expenses. Knowing my mom's personality, I wouldn't be surprised if she constantly nags at him for not earning more. After settling down in her career, my sister met an amazing guy and got married. Although it was difficult to say goodbye, I'm genuinely happy that she has found happiness in her life and settled into the house she purchased with her husband. Despite each of us having our own lives, we still maintain contact and support each other during challenging times.